Right, we've got a hound on, I reckon. Come on. There we go, hound. Five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Look what we got. Yes, we've got the hound. This is what I was looking for. This is what we wanted. Unbelievably, I've got one rod set up with a pulley pen or crab. This has taken my free hook rig, my free up rig, with a bit of black lug tipped off a squid. <laughs> Look at it. About six and a half pound. First hound of the year. I'm so, so happy. I got up nice and early this morning to get down here. This was the goal. We got one. Mwah. Look at them. These are the most powerful fish ever, I tell you. they Getting it in, you think you got something really monstrous. I mean, it is pretty monstrous, but there we go. The hounds are in. We're going to put this one back nice and quickly and then hopefully get a bigger one. I mean, that's pretty big. I'm happy with that. If I don't catch anything else today, I'm happy. <laughs> yes! Right, off you go, buddy. There he goes, but you can see the little fin out the water. Off he goes. I love a shark in the morning. <laughs> I've come back to the same place that I came to a couple of days ago. Um, it's kind of my little secret spot. Ben Arnold put me onto this spot about a year ago and I was struggling. Um, and I love it down here. I love it. It's in West Sussex, not too far from Worthing. Um, and I want to catch a smooth hound. And obviously we've just caught one, as you've seen. But I've been saving up all these peeler crabs and trying really hard to get all the peeler crabs. And you've got the pulley panel rig out. And we've got one out like that. And uh, that's on one rod. On the second rod, I'm using my sort of free up match rig. Because um, I caught a lot of dogfish the other night, I was started running out of rigs. So all my free up rigs have got little float beads on, which is what I use for place fishing. But I've just chucked that out. Um, all my bait was still frozen. So what I did on the free up rig, um, on the bottom hook I had some frozen blacks with squid. The blacks were really manky. It's left over from matches last year. The top hook I had some frozen blacks with tipped off a squid. On the middle hook, I decided to put a, a strip of squid and then I put a load of peeler crab legs on to the middle hook, thinking, well, a hound might like that. Um, and the rod's going over and I knew it was a hound straight away. I knew exactly what it was. And when I got it in, the smooth hound has taken the frozen black tipped off a squid, which is unbelievable. All this effort that I go into to try and catch hounds and um, all I needed was a manky bit of frozen black left over from a match, tipped off with a bit of really manky squid. Unbelievable. Just having a look at this hook. Um, so these are size two saltwater champions. Very, I've been using these hooks a lot um, since I think it was around this time last year, all my match fishing, but the hound has had it. <laughs> it shouldn't be that shape. It should be, um, you know, it's a normal sort of Aberdeen hook, so it should look like that. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, I, I'm just so happy that I had a hound. Half decent size, just over six and a half pounds. Oh, I'm happy, that's all I wanted to achieve. It wasn't a lot to ask, was it? 
um, keep an eye on them rods. But yeah, what a, what a beautiful day to be out. The sun's out, it's really cold. I got here, I, my alarm went off at four. I must have got onto the beach about quarter past five, half five, and it was about three degrees, it was freezing. But now at 20 past six, it's the sun's out. It's absolutely beautiful. And I've caught a hound. Things are gonna be good. I've got to actually go to work. Um, it's Friday morning. I've got to go to work in probably about two hours I've got left. And I'm gonna try and get a few of these little short sessions in because um, you know, you've just got to make the effort, haven't you? Just get up, go and do it, uh, and, and it's paid off today. <laughs> You can see I've come over the groin, a bit dodgy casting, a very small hound. <laughs> Not quite as big, <laughs> it's a miniature hound. Just as beautiful, just a bit smaller. Makes you wonder how they get the hook in that tiny mouth that was on the pulley panel. I mean, I'm not using massive hooks. I don't use massive hooks for smooth hounds. Sort of a 1.0 Camazan B940 short shank. And then one of those mustard big guns on the top, size two. But we're putting back all safe and sound. It's another hound. I'm glad we've had the bigger one. We haven't been here long. You know, not much over an hour. We've had two hounds. Not a bad way to start the day before a stressful day at work. Off you go, buddy. Go and grow nice and big. Go on. Go on. Go on. I haven't got anything for you. No, away from that. Go on. Go on. Go away. They're in dogs. That's it, gang. Target achieved. Uh, I've got to go to work now. I'm going to do a few more of these short little sort of two, two and a half hour sessions over the coming, well, coming weeks, coming days. I'll probably come out again in a couple of days and have another go. Uh, let's try and get a double figure hound uh, and possibly some double figure rays. In actual fact, it's probably more likely to get some double figure rays soon. I've had double figure undulate rays from here uh, almost this time last year. So lots coming up. Please do come and subscribe on YouTube. It'd be much appreciated. Share it around. Uh, we're trying to build up the, the YouTube channel a bit. Obviously, we've got a big following now on Instagram and Twitter and, and Facebook as well now, but YouTube's always been a bit slower. So if you could come and subscribe, it would be much appreciated. Have a good day, gang.